Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for April 15th, 2024. So the keys for today are to allow yourself to continue to feel your feelings, allow yourself to continue to nurture your heart, to learn how to parent yourself in ways that are more progressive and reflective of what you need, especially for who you are now and what you didn't receive earlier in life. And allow yourself to take your time. Uh, we have a lot of tension today in the skies and even though the instinct will be to like run back into your shell or burn a bridge or run away, this is actually the time that you really need to learn how to stand your ground. And not in the sense of this egotistical, I'm going to make people go my way type of way, but in a, I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be vulnerable. And I'm going to allow myself to embrace the process of learning how to feel my feelings without them defining me or stopping me from growing. And I say this because we have the moon in Cancer today. The moon in Cancer for most of the day. It will go void, of course, at 7.22 p.m. and then move into Leo. And there is still this tension between fire and water today. So there seems to be an incompatibility with these energies, but actually the challenge or the gift or the opportunity today is to find where these two elements actually meet in a good way. And we have the moon in cancer making a square to the packed house of aries so that is mercury that is chiron and that is the sun and that is where you're going to be challenged to be outside of how you used to react to things based on your feelings or based on your past traumas or based on your triggers but rather invited to enter into a place of awareness and a place of accountability and a place of growth like just take your time don't be too reactive. Allow yourself to count to 10. Allow yourself to reassess situations and be like, am I upset with this person or is this a pattern that the universe is offering me another opportunity to change? Um, and with that sun squaring the moon, you're aware of discrepancies between like how you feel and how you want to express yourself. And again, we're just running a diagnosis right now. We're still in the midst of a Mercury retrograde. So you are running a background diagnosis of who you are and what you're changing about yourself. And more importantly, the long-term commitment of awareness around who you are and expressing yourself authentically. Now, the bar is raised a little bit more, right? Because we have Mercury in conjunction with Chiron. And this is such a beautiful aspect if you allow yourself to build a bridge to yourself and not burn them. Allow yourself to be really honest and mindful about where your wounds are and how they've been wrapped into your identity. And remember, your woundings are not your identity. You are more than the things that have happened that to limit you. You are more than the things that have caused you pain. And you can grow and you can heal through these things and have beautiful breakthroughs. Especially since we have a beautiful trine to Neptune that says, you know, tap into art, tap into spirituality, tap into the unseen. And bring the divine into the daily factors of your life because you aren't alone. Even if nobody else understands you, the universe does. You are a divine person who is intended to be here. And what you can do and what you have is something nobody else has. And we all need it. You're an important part of the collective, even when you're not perfect. Perfect. especially when you're not perfect because that is the example the story that paves a path for other people to also heal and to understand and then to add a little pizzazz to it we also have a sextile to uranus and jupiter and so there's these unexpected moments these unexpected breakthroughs that can come through these unexpected expansions that can come through that when you meet yourself where you are and love yourself where you are and do the work where you are you can actually become exactly what you always wanted to be. I think it's a really beautiful day, um, but I am a fan of friction making you better. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.